Hello, my dear YouTube friends. Today we're going to talk about our attitude because it makes such a difference in what we do. As you know, I've put out a YouTube video last week. It's a compilation of like five weeks of little shorts where I did uh, parts of the weekly home blessing hour. So now you've got a tape out here, a video that you can pull up each time you do the weekly home blessing hour, which happens on Monday. And if you're an at-home homemaker following our classic plan, if you're a payroll homemaker, you can listen to it on Saturday. If you have a classic work schedule or whatever your off day is, if you work full time, you can put it in your ear and go about your day. Go about that morning getting things done. If you delegate something, then skip that part and tell somebody to do that. Just fast forward. Okay, I'm just there to keep you company. It's not fancy, but it works. Okay. Today is Monday, and this is a new day for me to put out a video for you because I am going to be going live on Wednesdays instead of Monday from now on. And I also want to mention to you that if you want to be mentored by me, and I know that some of you are resistant and you think, oh, I don't think I need it. And then every month it's the same story. And then you're being so cruel to yourself and not being kind. Um, think about being mentored. It's not very expensive considering what you're getting. And right now I have hmm, about eight slots that are twice a week available and about three slots that are four, I mean, twice a month available and about four, three slots that are four times a month. But I'm not going to give you all the times right now. But if you are interested, go over to patreon.com. The link is below. Join up for $5 a month so that you can get a video five days a week, Monday through Friday. Whether you work or not, you need to listen to that video because I will address your situation every single day, five days a week. So you'll be refreshed and reminded of what you need to do every day. But then once you're there and you try that for a bit, if you feel like you still need a little more help, I'm here to help you. I mentor about 50 women a month and I've done it for about eight years. I know every situation. I know some of you are embarrassed because you think your house is too awful or you think you don't have enough wrong with your house, but you just want some guidance. Some of you may only need to mentor with me, you know, a month or two. Some of you may choose to mentor with me for years, and it's totally okay either way, okay? All right, so go look, patreon.com, and the link is below. $5 a month gives you five videos a week, every week, week after week, whether I'm on vacation or not. I take six weeks vacation. And if you want to be mentored, then send me a personal note with your phone number once you're on uh, from Patreon, and I will answer you back with my phone number, and then I will call you, we'll chat, and we'll see what, what, what I have available and if it suits you, okay? If not, I can put you on my wait list. All right, enough about that. Today, we're talking about kindness, kindness. So what does that mean? Um, kindness, I mean, I think we think we know what kindness is. But how many times have you yelled this, this week or the week is just starting last week, last month? How many times have you shouted at someone or even at some inanimate object if you're mad? How many times have you done that? That is not contributing to kindness. How many times have you felt irate, just fuming mad? Maybe you choose not to shout. Maybe you just shut up and don't say a thing. And don't answer and you're cruel in that way. Or maybe you have a hot temper and you just pop off real fast. And then you feel bad about that later. That is not kindness. So we're going to practice kindness. This week I want you to really practice being kind. Okay, and first be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And then you're going to, it'll be easier to be kind to others. And it's hard to be kind when others are not being kind. When others are yelling at you, maybe you're not a yeller, but you have a hot temper. So someone yells at you and you pop off. Really practice and maybe pray about it to be kind. So that instead, when someone respond, retorts to you or says something to you in an angry way, that your response can be a soft word. 
try that. I want you to work on that. That's the things we're working on over on my Patreon channel this, this month. We're working on shining, which has to do with gratitude, kindness, and love. So I want you today to try to be kind and try to be kind every day this week. If you have the planner, the planner is also linked below. Um, it's the She's in Her Apron planner. There's a place in there every day for you to remind yourself to be kind. There's a top three, today's top three on our daily planner, which is the one I recommend for super busy people. If you're not super busy, you can get the week at a glance and the week at a glance has um, a, a list of things that you can do, like a to-do list that you can put in there. And on your to-do list, you can say, be kind so that every day you can check it off, check it off. I tried to be kind. If I wasn't kind, let's put a little X. Don't be mean to yourself. Give yourself grace. But look back over the week, at the end of the week, and say, how many times was I really trying to be charitable and kind? And how many times was I not? And can I see why I wasn't being kind? Maybe I didn't feel well. Maybe I, I can contribute it to my hot temper. Maybe the people in the street were driving like nuts. Maybe I was broke and it was frustrating me. You know, there's maybe my house is such a mess and no matter how I try, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels in the mud. All of that can contribute to unkindness. So when you look at that and you say, these are the reasons, how can I address that in myself? You have to be honest with yourself and say, okay. I'm going to maybe pray about my hot temper or I'm going to um, realize that other people have also got pressure on them. Maybe they can't afford their groceries and so they're mad or they're upset or they're aggravated and they cut in front of me because they weren't even thinking. Their mind was someplace else. I'm going to give them grace. I'm going to be kind to them. So that's what I'd like you to work on this week, this whole week, is being kind. I'd love to see your comments. As you know, or you might not know, I personally answer, or at least give you a little heart if it's just a little comment that doesn't require an answer. Um, but I like to answer you or comment on what you're saying. And it's really fun for me to see what you say. Some of it's so fantastic. Some of it's sad. Some of it uh, requires prayer on my part for you. It's all good. And many times, if it's something great, I read it to Mr. B, where he'll be in the car and it'll pop up on my phone and I'll say, ooh, listen to this. <laughs> and I read your comments because they mean that much to me. You are very special to me. And I want you to know that in your heart of hearts and want you to know that I am here for you to give you, help you have a better life. That's what I'm here for. So today, be kind, be charitable, and always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.